a tour of our office today. MTV Crib style, we are taking you through our workspace. Hey guys. Come on in. Well, welcome to the Studio McGee and McGee & Co office. We started with a completely empty space. It hadn't even been framed. We knew that we had to work around a couple of things. These steel cross beams that go in front of the windows. We have a huge open space, but then we also needed to create some divisions between conference rooms, offices, and we could not afford to do hardwood floors throughout the entire studios. So we decided to polish the concrete, which I actually really like how it turned out. I think it gives it a more industrial look and it's fun to try out new things in our own spaces. So this is the entrance. We have a couch over here, which I really like because sometimes I'll just sneak away from the rest of the office and come sit down. Walking into the entryway, you get a sneak peek of a sofa that we are tweaking a little bit before a launch, but giving it a good test run. Originally, I thought we would build this front desk situation and make it feel office-y, but that's just not us. So we decided to take that out of the plans and create an entrance with furniture to really greet people and make it feel more like a home than a workspace. So we floated the desk in the middle and used a console with artwork above it and this really cool glass cabinet. We styled everything with McGee Co as you can imagine. From the entrance, you can see this huge set of glass doors. Behind that is the conference room where all the big meetings go down. We upgraded from our last space to a much bigger space so we could fit everybody in there because we keep growing. We had a custom-made table for the space. This conference table we had made for us and they added these really cool things in the middle here. You push them down, they pop up. You got power and USB and stuff like that. We took one of our rugs, the Augustine rug from McGee & Co, and had it custom sized. I think it's like 19 feet long and that fills the whole space really nicely. Sets a good color palette and then we added in two pendants. I really like how it's come together. It's a really good space for us to all gather. Sometimes we, believe it or not, fill it all the way up. As you come down the hall, we have a call room, another conference room. Those are always busy. And then my office and Sid's office, we share it. So we have our office designed by Shay McGee. Sid and I have never had a closed office space until now. In our last two offices, we were just out with everybody, but then we'd have to like go take calls downstairs and outside, and it was just a little bit crazy. So for the first time, we have our own space. We centered the whole space with a table that is in the shape of a surfboard, perfect for Sid. Um, very cool desk. I love the bleached oak tone and then that ties in nicely with the oval shade that we have on the ceiling fixture. Then we put a dresser under the window. I love that it has this brass hardware detail. I added drapes in here because I just felt like it needed an extra layer. They're not workable because we just like the natural light coming in, but they add a good texture to the space. We have a style, I don't even know what that is. Like a, I'm just not even gonna try because I'll say it wrong and then Shay will make fun of me. That tree is actually stayed alive like surprisingly long. Um, usually we kill stuff pretty quickly, but it's doing great. So I'm really proud of that. I painted that. Um, that's it, that's our office. When designing the kitchenette in our studio, we wanted it to feel like its own space, but then open up so that people can run in, grab snacks, they can sit and eat lunch. I wanted it to feel like a piece of furniture in the middle because we didn't have any plumbing coming up to it and we didn't need all these dishes to store. So it was a perfect place to do an island that sat up on higher legs. The cabinets 
are beautiful. Kilowin Construction, he is building our house and then he has a cabinet company as well. And his cabinet company made all of the cabinets for us. We did this flat front detail and it's inset, which means you can see it's built more like furniture with this detail around the edge. And then we did these modern edge poles and that was a little bit more contemporary than I usually go and I like that that works in our studio space so well. We also worked with Italia. Italia is a local Salt Lake company and we found a Carrera marble slab. That was perfect, it just had a nice uniform kind of white and gray veining throughout it. And then Rock Solid in Orem, who is also doing my countertops in my house, they fabricated it for us. We have a pebble ice maker, and that is my favorite feature of the entire office. Welcome to the pebble ice facilitator area. I'm gonna recycle my glass. Drawers full of snacks and chips. Whoa, the fridge. Diet Coke, Coke, full strength Dr. Pepper. I think the star of the kitchen is the light fixture situation we have happening. We did two huge basket pendants from Mickey & Co. And I love them. They add so much texture, they're oversized, and they just add a really big wow factor. Last but certainly not least, we have our Williamson counter stool pulled up to the island. Those are our exclusive bar stools that we designed, and I love the little brass detail on the back. The kitchenette opens up to the big open workspaces we have where the majority of our team members work. You can see that we did repeating pendants. We've done that in all of our office spaces. It's just one of my favorite features, especially because I don't like the kind of boring track lighting or like fluorescence that are in a lot of workspaces. We mixed high and low in here. We did these great designer pendants and then we used desks from Ikea and I think that the mix works really well. We have to fit so many people but everyone works on different teams so we created some separation but made it easy to kind of go back and forth between the two spaces by adding these walls that have windows in them. I really wanted a huge pin board to go across the back wall and it sat empty for a while and then finally our team was awesome and took over the DIY project for me and it's so cool to see all of our upcoming projects and products and catalogs come to life there. The design library. Besides the ice maker might be my favorite part of the whole office because it's every designer's dream to have this much storage. We had so many requirements. We had to store hardware, tile, fabric samples, bedding samples, books, wallpaper, the list goes on and on. We had this amazing design come to life with Kilowin Cabinet Company. It's all organized and we are able to keep track of everything and then the ladder, which it looks really cool, but also functions because we can't reach any of the top storage. And so we're on the ladder quite a bit. Can you assist me and give me a push? I gotta reach something over here. <laughs> Thank you. The furniture in this space, we brought over tables from our old office and then gave them a new look by adding a rug. This rug is coming to McGee & Co. really soon. We did it in a custom size to fit both of these tables on top. And then you get a sneak peek also of a bench we have coming soon. The artwork is from McGee & Co. and all of the accessories. We all spend a lot of time here, and so it's really important to make it feel like a second home for our whole team. Now that it is done, it feels so good to be here, and I don't know what else to say. Let's make Sid do this part. <laughs> well, thanks for coming by and checking out our office tour. Um, there's lots going on around here, so. Hello? Yeah, one second. I gotta get back to work, so. Take care. Yeah.